Hello everybody, I have more Tears of the Kingdom for you today, and I wanted to give a special shout out yet again to the fine folks who helped me make the VTuber avatar that you see. So, thank you all very much. If you'd like to learn more about them, please check the description below. And without further ado, here we go. We're at the Great Sky Island again. And we came all the way from up there on the mountain. Which was a harrowing experience for those who may have missed it. But don't worry, if you've missed it, there is a playlist for Tears of the Kingdom. Don't be worried about missing it. I promise you haven't. Our next agenda is the Temple of Time, where we happen to have landed. Isn't that convenient? But before we head into the temple, just a quick reminder if you don't mind. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click all on the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date with my latest uploads and live streams. All right, off we go. Let's see what they have in store for us, shall we? Apples, yay! I was searching for apples everywhere last <laughs> Oh, and we have a new outfit at last. The boots that he's wearing, you would get when you're up in the mountain if you come by a big tree trunk. There will be a chest in one of its notches. So make sure you check the tree you leave the island because that's where it'll be. said it before, but I just love the Zen garden built around here. <laughs> it's very twinkly. It feels like ages ago since we were at the first shrine, but what do you know? We don't really know what we're in for. Let's take something besides the giant boating paddle. <laughs>
let's go inside. There's the dragon theme again all over this place. Even the walls look like dragon scales, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Zelda sure had a different outfit on. I wonder what that was about. But she gave us the ability of recall. And I will read it for you. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Ah, recall the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw... It's even a mystery to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. For those unaware, we got separated from the princess during the beginning of the game, so if you'd like to watch more of that and see how we got to this point, feel free to watch the playlist that I have. There's plenty of good stuff to watch. Hmm. 
that you've now been given the ability, no doubt, it will prove important. These are the abilities we have so far. First is Ultra Hand. Second is Fuse. Third is Ascend. And fourth is Recall. The first three you'll find in shrines around this very island. I'll go ahead and read this out, because it's one of our main quests. In the Temple of Time, you approached an altar. In a flash of light, you found yourself with Princess Zelda. That is, with some phantasmal floating version of her. She took your hand and gave you an ability to control time that is known as Recall. Now the temple's deeper mysteries await you. I need to get in a better position to do this. gonna be perfect every day. I 
I will get this eventually. down now. We did it! The goddess statue smiles upon you. This door stands as a test of your overall vitality. Mm. Raru again! Yay! You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There, you can get another blessing. Oh. If you add that to the other shrine blessing, and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Let me see the Pura Pad. The Pura Pad lets you travel to certain places instantly.
Now see the blue marks on your map? You can travel instantly to any of them. I suggest the bottom one on your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find it the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. Ramu said you can't open the door at the back of the temple because you're still too weak. You need to get one more light of blessing at the island's final shrine to offer at the goddess statue. The shrine is marked by a right dot on the map. You can go near there instantly with the Purapaz travel feature. Unlocked fast travel! Hooray! <laughs> That's my little attempt at a dance, in case you were curious. I can't wait to see what the fast travel is going to give us. I'm super excited to find out. So hopefully y'all will stay tuned. Uh, let's see if we can find the secret shrine. We're gonna drop into the water anyway. It's not gonna hurt it. I sure hope we'll be able to help the princess. Now that we're down here, let's test out this fast travel thing. We're back at the starting room. Noise. But now we have a means to get up there. I'm curious to see 
Doesn't close the door on us. That's good news. Since we can fast travel, I'll come back and take another look later. 